Yes, I've got this wall of modular uh, synths, analog synths. Um, and I've got everything in the digital world. Now, these analog walls of synthesizers, they're great. But the process that you just saw to make a bass drum is like 50 times worse on an analog wall. You know, it, it takes forever to get a sound. And once it's there, it's beautiful. You get all these things for free. All these things that's happening, it's like, what? Did I just do that? No, wait a minute. Some, something must be wrong. But it sounds great. Let's record. Um, but as soon as you start taking the patch cables out, it's gone. You can't save a preset. Um, and the only thing you have is your memory. And um, the more you patch these patches, the, the handier you get at it, and, and the more exciting it becomes. Uh, but it has a lot of downsides. It's very unpredictable. It's, it's, it's very um, out of tune most of the time. Um, so then there are times that you go to let's say, you know, Reactor, um, a digital version of that. And is, yeah, that, it's, is that for it, a sound it, or a convenience? No, but it's, it's it, so what I just said about the tapes and, and the digital recording is, is the, um, the benefits you had from analog and the downsides you had from digital. But once I started understanding what digital recording was all about, I was like, oh, I never want to go back to the analog recording but because now I get it. And then past that phase of I don't want to go back to analog, I, I discovered this like, well, there were a few things that were great about analog. So you started combining them like hand in hand. Now, this is exactly what now happens with me in the synthesizer world. Um, Reactor, Absinthe, FM8 gives me stuff that is so unique, that is so out there. I could not make that with the analog synths. But what I get with the analog synths, it's very hard to get with the digital synths. So it's the combination of both things that, um, that keeps it, for me, extremely interesting.